So this video right now is just going to be a few of the generic things that we were all going to work on in class this week. Um, if you want something more specific to your belt, you can send me a message or your parents send me a text or a message on Facebook or whatever and I will send you stuff for your uh, age and belt rank that's maybe a little, a little more specific to you. Okay, but the first thing we were all going to work on was an elbow smash. I'm going to step back here so you can see my feet. Uh, so remember we do an elbow smash, we're grabbing the target and pulling it towards us as we hit. So I start in my fighting stance, okay, I'm going to reach my front hand out and I'm going to open up my shoulders to do it towards you. So I'm, I'm in my stance, I open up my shoulders and I stretch myself out, okay. Um, if you know our front choke defense, this is pretty similar to that. And I grab my target and I'm going to pull it in halfway. It doesn't pull all the way back to my arm because I'm going to be striking with this side of my body in a minute. But I grab and I pull in halfway. Uh, you could be grabbing their head or their neck or their shoulder or their clothing, their shirt or their jacket. You could hook around their arms. There's all different places you could grab, but uh, you need to just think about reaching out and grabbing, usually somewhere higher on their body. Uh, we wouldn't do this and try to grab them around the waist or grab their leg or anything like that. This is a more of a high level strike, meaning chest, neck, head, collarbone area. Okay. So when I grab, my weight is kind of already on this back leg. I'm going to push and twist my hip. Okay, when I push with that foot, I twist my knee and twist my hip. That brings my chest and my shoulder forward. As my chest and my shoulder and my hip move forward, that lets my arm roll forward and I'm going to do my strike. So this hand pulls in halfway, the back side of my body twists forward halfway, and we meet in the middle, boom, to hit my target. Okay? Remember when we do an elbow strike, we want our arm to be relaxed. I don't want to clench and be real tight because then my arm doesn't move as smoothly. So I want my hand to be kind of relaxed. I want my arm to almost move like a whip. My hip moves, that makes my chest move, that brings my shoulder forward, that makes my arm whip towards my target. Okay? Uh, so I'm reaching out, I'm pulling in halfway, I'm pushing off this back foot and my back foot stays on the floor. I don't want to lose power and lift up. Okay, so like you're squishing a bug or something. Um, I grab and I twist that foot, push into the floor, use your knee and your hip to twist your upper body, and then you do your strike. Again, if you don't have a pad, grab a pillow, perfect, boom, and hit it. I've got a pad, so I'm going to use that. Uh, I hold on to my target, I reach out in front of me, I'm still keeping this hand close to my face, and as I drive my hip forward, boom, my shoulder whips forward and I hit my target. Okay, so again, you can pick a number, do 10 on your right and then do switch your feet, do 10 on the left. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do this strike with your front arm. Um, I can reach further with my front hand to grab you and I can twist with more power from the back. If I reach with my back hand, I can't go as far. And if I twist and hit with my front arm, I can't hit as hard. So. Um, when it's time to do the other side, right, I do 10 on my right, 8, 9, 10, I need to switch my feet, get in my stance on the other side, and repeat on the left. Um, make sure when you do this that you are pulling the target all the way into your strike and that you're bringing your strike all the way to the target. Okay, don't stop here and just barely tap at the end. Actually pull in and actually twist forward, okay, and it meets in the middle. It's a big powerful collision when they meet. Okay, so this is called an elbow smash. Pick a number, do it on the left and the right, practice it in place, practice doing a double one, practice moving your feet while you do it, just moving into the person. Okay, you can uh, practice your elbow lots of different ways. Those of you who know how to do a vertical elbow, you could work on it that way as well too.